Hello, Abraham. My understanding of your teachings is that thought stimulates vibrations, which stimulates emotion, which thought, stimulates... Thought is vibration. Okay. Uh, and you said that creation requires no action and that the evidence will reveal itself. So here's my question. That's mostly right. Thought and vibration are one and the same. And a practiced thought is a practiced vibration that equals a point of attraction. And if you keep it up for a little while, then it becomes the reality. But the vibration is where you're wanting to put the emphasis, and we are too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So money doesn't grow on trees. It only comes from other people. And the only way to get money from other people is to either steal it or <laughs> to create value which people will pay for. So if people just sit on the couch thinking about what they desire, the money, and asking for the money, and giving off the vi vibrations, and feeling the emotion of receiving that money, that which they ask for, but they take no action to create any value which people will pay for, then how, how is their income and money just going to come to them if they take no action? Well, the flawed premises that you just spewed are abundant there. <laughs> and f first, Here's the biggest assumption that you are making that as we resolve it, it will be easier to hear everything else. The first really major flawed premise in what you spoke here is that value only comes from action. And what is economy anyway? In other words, who gets to decide that what you do for a living is only worth $8 an hour and while what that one does for a living is worth $50 an hour and while that one does for a living is worth $10,000 or $10 million an hour? Who gets to define that value anyway? It's not very well defined, is it? And yet, where did your economy come from? Just a few hundred years ago, on this continent, you were trading beads and shells and a little bit of minerals. That was your basis. Jerry remembers when the gold standard was $35 an ounce, the gold standard, and everything was supposed to be sort of measured against that gold standard. There are no standards like that that remain consistently. Who gets to define value? You're going to come around to understanding that the only true value that you can ever reap the reward from or experience the benefit of is the value of alignment with this energy that creates worlds. What kind of monetary value do you put on that? Do you ever hear anyone say, well, I've been so well for so many years and there are so many people out there who are sick and I've been using up all the wellness value for so long that I've decided that I'm going to be sick for a while to allow more sick people to be well because I've been getting more than my fair share of wellness. You never say that because you don't see it as a pile of something that can be divvied out. You accept that as a vibrational relationship in some way. You, you haven't really defined it. Humans say, well, that one's just unlucky in sickness and that one's just lucky lucky and wellness, but it's not like that at all. There is a vibrational abundance that is being realized by some and denied by others, but they are all doing it to themselves, you see. There's not a big pile of resources that you are divvying up. Somebody didn't set the monetary fiscal standard for the universe, and there it all is out there, and now you have to steal it or trade it. That is so old news. This is a vibrational reality that you're moving into and it is thought and alignment. Who do you think was paid for this earth that is now congealed and spinning in its orbit? Who was paid for that? Who scraped that value together and who was paid for it and who tends for it in its orbit? In other words, there are so many things that you can't begin to explain through a platform like the one that you just presented to us here. And that platform is not serving anyone at all, you see. Mm -hmm. So now, in other words, this is common wisdom. There isn't anything that you said. You didn't just make it up. A whole lot of people believe that. But now read it to us again and we're going to pick it apart <laughs> line by line so that you can feel what we're getting at. Just okay. start again. Okay. <clears throat> My understanding of your teachings is that thought stimulates vibrations, 
Which All right, so now we've amended that. Thought and vibration, thought is vibration. And law of attraction brings more thought to it. So when I think this thought and I hold the frequency of it for as little as 17 seconds, another thought like it is going to join it. And you're calling that stimulation of thought. And we say, yes, when you keep a vibration going, law of attraction is going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh -huh. Whether it's something wanted or unwanted, it will get bigger by focus to it. And, and so you don't have to do anything. You can just sit you there have to and focus. sit in a chair and focus like but, this. And money is going to come. But wait, now wait, now wait. Don't get there too soon. Focus, but focus is doing something. Focus is harnessing the energy that creates worlds. In other words, that's like saying, you don't have to do anything. You just have to focus. And then the world will come into being. Somebody did something. Somebody did something. Somebody focused. Focus has value. You can sit and focus out of the vortex and your life won't change at all. You can sit and focus in the vortex and your life will change magnificently. The power of your mind is the only power that matters and all the other stuff you do is just for the pleasure of enhancing what you've really done with your mind and all the real power is the focus. And for you to call that nothing could not be further from accurate. Okay, all right. Okay. We are enjoying this. We want you to enjoy it too. I, oh, I'm loving it. Very much enjoying it. Okay, so uh, continuing, uh, most people uh, would like enough passive income. But it's not about the action that you offer. It's about the alignment with the dream. It's about the alignment with the real resource. We're talking about tapping into the energy that creates worlds and flowing it through your experience. And, and a really good place to start is to look around at the vast differences in the way people are living their lives. The people that are working the hardest in terms of action are receiving the least. And the people who are working the least are receiving the most. How do you reconcile that? Most don't. Most just say that sucks. Most just say there's injustice. Most just say, let's take the pie and split it up again. Let's take the pie and split it up again. Let's take the pie and split it up again. And it does not matter how many times you split that pie up it will move into the vibrational places where law of attraction puts it. In other words, you just can't orchestrate it through action. It is a vibrational attraction or allowance that it is all about. Continue just a little bit. We have two minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, people want this income, I, I believe, so that they can be free to express their creativity and, and fulfill their, their deepest desire. People want it so that they will feel better. You say they want it so that they can satisfy this and this and this. What they want is alignment and alignment brings money. And what you're saying is they want the money so that they can then observe be alignment. Free. And we say they want the alignment which will bring the money. What they want is the alignment. What you want is to be in love. What you want is to take a walk and feel your heart soaring. What you want is for music to move through your body. What you want is to be alive and brilliant and, and have good timing. What you want is to be clever. What you want is to love. These are the things that you want. What you want is alignment. All the other stuff is irrelevant. And when you go for alignment first, then all the other trappings have to fill in around it. It is law. So the, the, the point of the whole entire question is just simply trying to understand how you can create what you, what you desire without taking physical action. And what we're saying is you've already created it with all that you've been living and it's waiting for you offering a signal and all you have to do is hone in on that signal and you can tell when you're honing in because you're feeling better and you can tell when you're getting closer because you're feeling lighter and you can tell when you've really honed in because you believe and you can tell when you consistently honed in because you know you just know life is good and you just know you're stable and you just expect it to be good and now you're moving through life doing the action which is delicious doing the action that supports your knowledge of well-being. In other words, oh, you'll get tuned in and you won't cease to act. We promise you, when you're tuned into the energy that creates worlds, the inspiration to call this person and go there, the inspiration will flow through you. You'll be the busiest, most active person that you've ever known in your life. But the inspiration comes first and inspires the action. The action doesn't create. Good time for segment Got five. It. Thank you.